on one side you've got the Samsung Freestyle, which is an LED projector, and on the other side you've got the Nebula Capsule 3, which is a laser projector. Now, we're going to be checking out some of the key differences between both of these, especially if you're out there considering which one to go for. They're both portable devices. They both can produce up to 1080p maximum resolution, but there's some key differences to note, especially between their display technology, so between LED and laser technology. Now, let's check them out. The Samsung Freestyle is a 100 inch LED projector that can project up to a maximum of 1080p HD resolution, while the Nebula Capsule 3 is a 120 inch laser projector that can also project up to 1080p maximum resolution. They've got some key differences that you'd want to note though if you're considering picking up one or the other. When you first look at both projectors side by side, you'll notice that they're both super portable, meaning they'll be easy to bring around. The Capsule 3 does have a bit of a heft to it and weighs a bit more than the Freestyle. I really don't see much of a difference when both devices are compared based on their size or their portability. For connecting to external video sources, the Capsule 3 uses a full-size HDMI 2.1 connection, while the Freestyle uses a micro HDMI connection. With both projectors, you need to find your own cable since neither of them comes with an HDMI cable. It'll definitely be easier to come by a full-sized HDMI cable than it'll be to find a micro HDMI cable. There's also an AUX jack on the Capsule 3 which the Freestyle is missing. The Capsule 3 comes equipped with a thread on the bottom which is perfect for mounting it onto a tripod or anything else that's similar. The Freestyle on the other hand doesn't have this feature in its design. Instead, the body of the Freestyle is sitting on a base and the entire body can be rotated to project the image farther up the wall or even, you know, onto the ceiling. Both projectors also come with remote controls. The Freestyle's remote is white and can be recharged through a USB-C port while the Capsule 3 is black and uses rechargeable AAA batteries. Both remotes have similar buttons like a D-pad, input, settings, and you know, similar things like that. One thing the Capsule 3's remote has though that the Freestyle doesn't is the Keystone Correction and Autofocus button, which is really convenient to use when the time comes. On the top side of the Capsule 3, you've also got controls like a D-pad and more. The Freestyle also has similar controls like this on its front side. You can also control both projectors using their respective phone apps. Both projectors also come with built-in speakers that can produce 360 sound, which is just to say that they radiate sound out in all directions. Personally, I think they both sound decent enough for what they are, but you can use an external Bluetooth speaker with both projectors if the sound output from them isn't enough for you. What's name is? Guy. Guy, you from where? I was born in Israel. In Israel. Besides using the Capsule 3 as a portable projector for watching videos, it can also be used in a special Bluetooth speaker mode. You can easily switch between each mode quickly using the mode switch button on the device. When you're in Bluetooth mode, you can connect to the Capsule 3 and play music from any of your other Bluetooth enabled devices like your phones or your computer. The Bluetooth speaker feature is a really nice feature for a portable device that the Freestyle is missing out on. Being able to use the Capsule 3 as a Bluetooth speaker introduces more ways to use it and even more reason to bring it around with you. The Capsule 3 can also produce Dolby audio from its built-in speakers, which is great for when watching movies. Both projectors come equipped with automatic keystone correction, which work well enough, but you can also use their manual correction to fine-tune the way the final image projected looks. There's also a zoom feature on both for either shrinking or enlarging the image. One thing to note here is that the image projected looks better when smaller, but since the Capsule 3 uses laser, it still looks great even when the image projected is larger. The autofocus on both projectors work great for keeping image quality nice and sharp, but I still find that fine tuning with the manual focus settings makes the image a bit sharper, and this is with both projectors. The Freestyle runs on Samsung's Tizen OS, which they also use with all their recent smart TVs. It comes with Samsung's typical suite of apps and it's super easy to use. You've got access to commonly used apps like Netflix, Plex, and more. Nebula's Capsule 3, on the other hand, runs on Android 11 OS. The smart TV layout is great and also super easy to navigate and use. You can download up to 7,000 apps and more through the Android App Store, and any ones that aren't on there can be downloaded and added through a USB stick. As for voice control on the Freestyle, you've got Alexa and Bixby built into it. There is a switch for turning the mic on or off on the Freestyle when using voice control. The Capsule 3 on the other hand uses Google's voice control. To use voice control on the Capsule 3, you'll need to use the voice control button on the remote. So you gotta press that and then talk to the remote. 
Between both projectors, the Capsule 3 definitely provides the better visual experience, and the main reason for that is the display technology that it uses. Laser projectors generally produce brighter images with better contrast than LEDs because of how they project light. Lasers point light directly at the screen while LEDs scatter the light as it's pointed outward. The Capsule 3's laser projection also means the light produces a lot brighter than what you, you know, usually get from the LED projection on the freestyle. Both projectors can display up to 1080p resolution with HDR compatibility, but the Capsule 3's laser projection makes HDR content look so much better. In brighter spaces, the Capsule 3 also handles better than the Freestyle because of the brightness. You might notice that the Freestyle produces a bit of a better color accuracy than the Capsule 3 since it uses LED display tech. Both devices have a USB-C port for receiving power, but the Capsule 3 also comes with a built-in battery which you'll have to pick up as an add-on for the Freestyle. With the Capsule 3's built-in battery, you can get up to 2.5 hours of movie playtime depending on the brightness level you know, that you're using. In Bluetooth speaker mode though, the battery life can go up to 10 hours playing music before you, know, you need to recharge. As for recharging the Capsule 3, it should take about 3 hours to get a full charge using Quick Charge 2.0. The Capsule 3 can also be used while simultaneously charging it, so you can be watching a movie or listening to music while charging it. The Freestyle on the other hand does not have a built-in battery, so none of this even matters. You need to plug it in to use it, or you pick up you know, an add-on, a battery that you can use with the device. This will in turn increase the overall size and the price of the Freestyle. Both projectors are being sold at a very similar price point, so this shouldn't really be the deciding factor, although the Capsule 3 is slightly cheaper than the Freestyle. Besides the laser creating a brighter and sharper image quality on the Capsule 3, you also get more features overall for what you pay for than you would get with the Freestyle. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys in this one. Um, I hope this has helped in some way in deciding between picking up one or the other one. I'll catch you all in my next video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like down below. It's Tomi, and I'm out, y'all.